guys, so I'm gonna do a really quick short video on how to make mashed potatoes. Potatoes are for sure my favorite food <laughs> because they're so versatile and you can do so much with them. And mashed potatoes is one of my favorite things to make and consume. For this recipe, I, well, for this show, I guess, I'm using these little potatoes that you can buy in little bags. The reason being for this is because you don't have to peel and wash them. Well, you can, I guess. When I mash them up, then you get some of the skin in there and I, I kind of like that. But if you don't want to do it that way, I'm pretty sure there's no wrong potato to use for mashed potatoes. Not that I've come across anyways. You can get those big baked potatoes too, like those massive ones, and those are super easy to peel because they're huge, but these ones are like really little, so they would take forever to peel. Choose whatever potatoes you want for this. This is just what I'm gonna use today, but I'll often use the big ones and they turn out great. I'll use the little ones and they turn out great, so you can leave the skin on, you can take the skin off. Possibilities are endless. Things that you put into it are also endless, and I'll show you that as we get going. So all I'm doing right now is cutting the potatoes um, in half so that they're all around the same size. So the ones that are a little bit bigger, like this guy, I'll cut in half. And then this guy, I'll just keep him as is and maybe poke like a little hole in him so that he doesn't get too wrapped up in his skin. And yeah, so you just kind of want them cut in the same size. It doesn't really matter how you do it. I like making them pretty small because they cook faster and I like to have instant rewards with my food. So um, anything that cooks fast is the best. Okay, so I've got all my brands in a pot and I'm just gonna give them a quick rinse of water. I don't really have a logical reason for this because I'm sure they're clean anyways, but you know, it makes me feel better giving them a little bit of a bath before going on the stove. Okay, so once you gave them a bit of a wash, then just put them in the pot with some water. I just do it until they're covered up and have like, I don't know, maybe half an inch of water above them. I, again, I don't think there's any right or wrong way to boil a potato. You just kind of stick it in there and um, make sure they're covered in water and they will cook. And then turn your stove on to, I usually set mine to high just to get water, the water boiling. And then once the water is boiled, I'll turn it down to like medium high. And you can stick the lid on top and you'll be good to go. So right now I'm just giving the potatoes a quick little stab with a sharp knife to see if they're done. The knife should go in with little to no resistance and it should be really easy to give them a little poke. If there is some resistance then just boil them a little longer and poke them again later and see if they're good to go. And these ones needed a little bit more time so I'm just going to put them back on the burner. Let them soak and boil for a little while longer. Give them another poke and they're really soft at this point it went in super easy so they are finished Woo! now we're just putting them in a strainer to get rid of all the water give them a little shake once you have the potatoes all cooked i put them just right back in the pot because it's nice and hot and now it's to make it nice and creamy so you have to add some kind of wetness creaminess to it so i'm adding milk just regular dairy milk and i'm going to add some butter yeah <laughs> very very nice looking butter isn't that mm -hmm, yep <laughs> anyways these are just the things that i'm going to use this time 
but you can use anything really. Sour cream, cream cheese, I've heard, vegan butter. In terms of milk, I've only done it with dairy milk. I'm, I would imagine that other kinds of milk would work, but that's all that I've ever used. You could probably use cream. I'm sure that would be fine as well. And then the same comes with the spices. With this, I'm just gonna add salt and pepper, but with mashed potatoes, you just make it how you like. You can add garlic to it, some minced garlic or garlic powder. That would be really nice. You can add green onions to it. You can add chives to it. You can add bacon to it. You can add really whatever you want. It just depends kind of what you're pairing it with. That's the great thing about mashed potatoes is you can put all kinds of stuff in them and they'll turn out more often than not just delicious and nutritious. But yeah, let's get to some mashing. So here we are with the milk added and my glob of butter. And now I'm just gonna squish it together. You can totally use a hand mixer, but I just kind of like the old fashioned way with a potato masher. Cool, so here we have our creamy potatoes with their skin. Then I'm just gonna mix that all together now. I'm also gonna add a little bit of dehydrated chives, just for some color and some flavor. And there you have it folks, some delicious mashed potatoes. All together it takes like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, but a lot of the time it's just boiling, so while they're doing that, you can do other stuff and make other things. So yeah, give it a try and let me know what you think. 